newcomers. Green. Oh, is that even green? It's pale green. It's sort of like a dusty grey. I'll give it. <laughs> you come dusty grey. Uh, cheers. Cheers, cheers again, yeah? Cheers, cheers. Cool. Hello. Hey. You all right? What's happening? Is Dan and Chloe not here? No. Probably a good thing. I did actually want to speak to mainly Chloe, but obviously I did message her and ask her to ring me on social media, but she hasn't responded to anything or even called me back. And I just thought, after all this time, I would have expected, like, a call from her. When was that? That was the day you guys got back from Thailand. I just think it's a bit of a, like, a shit situation because I don't know what, how much you knew. Like, you know Dan's quite secretive and quite keeps his mouth shut, but, like, before Thailand, me and him were pretty much back together. We broke up and he did everything he could to win me back was begging at my front door for me to not go on a date with someone else. And, like, when it, when Dan rang me when he was in Thailand, he was being very, like, one-sided, saying, you know, it's Chloe that said she's, she's got feelings to me. I um, obviously said, I don't know where this has come from. We've only ever had banter. He basically said to me, he wanted to sort things out with you, he wanted to speak to Joe, wanted to speak to Chloe, brush it all under the carpet and make out that it's not happened and hopefully move forward and everything be fine. And his feelings towards me haven't changed. You know, you know this is the complete opposite to what has actually gone on and what Chloe said. What do you mean? It didn't come out of nowhere. Mm. They were flirting and, and things had been said before Thailand. It wasn't Chloe that initiated it. Oh, so Dan was the initiator? This is exactly what Chloe's told me. It's mm. down to Dan. Dan's the one that has, that has got all the cards here. Chloe is my best mate and yeah, I think she's had an awful lot of stick and people saying an awful lot of things about her, mm. which I think is fucking unfair. Because seeing them together and the way they've been, mm. there's definitely a connection there, there's definitely something there. But I've said this from the beginning, we all think he's a really nice guy, but when it comes to girls, he's, a, he's an idiot. Listen, I'm not the best person to talk about the, you know, the way women should be treated, because I've not exactly acted like an angel my whole life. But I think he just generally doesn't know what he wants. Last week, we, we saw each other three times, and we were sort of staying over each other's houses. My toothbrush is still in the fucking bathroom in his flat. Like, my bed's still fucking warm, and it's just like... Things he's saying to me that I, I don't think he's like being what? really honest. Every phone call that me and him had had was, I'm not pursuing things with Chloe, I don't want to be with Chloe, me and Chloe are not going on a date, I've said that I don't want to go on a date with her, I don't want to be in a relationship with her, so obviously I'm on the receiving end. Is he saying things. he wants to be in a relationship with you? I'm not saying I want to be back with him, that's completely against the point. Me and him Why are getting back together. Him, Number one, he's my ex boyfriend. I'm well entitled to see him, I'm well entitled to say it is, I'm well entitled to do what I want to do. Like the only person in this situation who can answer all these questions is Dan. I'm not I personally questions, don't... I'm not asking him questions, no, he's just stating facts. I know, that's but I don't, think, I don't give a shit what the truth is. Do you know what? He's what? my friend and he's my mate, but at the end of the day, the only, like, the only person I cared about from the start in this situation was, and not who I didn't want to get hurt in any of this situation, was Chloe. Yeah, of course. And that's it, because that's where I, like, I've known Chloe for and a very, very long time. That's the point I'm making to you. Yeah. I feel like he's being dishonest to her and dishonest to me. She knows more than you think. Yeah, she knows more than you think. I told him to tell her. Hold on, I know that she was here and he told her everything. Let me speak. He did say he told her. Listen, I'm not one of the donuts you can be rude to, so don't try it. Don't try and be rude to me then, I'm not trying to be rude to her, but you keep doing the same thing and doing the same thing you always do, which is play victim. Stop it. I don't want to overrate you, but what Dan's done here is fucked you both over. And and I feel bad saying that because I love Dan, but he's got himself in a right fucking situation and he's upsetting too many people. Personally, for me, I'm out. I don't want to talk about it anymore. It's up to you to decide what you want to do. He's saying one thing to me, but clearly he's fucking taking the piss and lying. Dan's just very dishonest. <laughs>